The song that I am convinced turned his career around. Burner Boy, On the Low, We Love Him. It's uh, top of the hour. Well, no, no, not anymore. It's actually eight minutes over top of the hour. We're still starting our day with Richard Lukungu. We're going to chat to him a little bit more. Uh, you're a dad. You dance. Yeah. Well, with, no. with, yes, the, with, with the little the, With the kids. With yeah, the yeah. little ones. More like jump up and down. How many kids do you have? Two. Two. Yeah. Boy and girl. Boy, boy and boy, girl. Boy. No, do boy they, and girl. Yeah. What are their pronouns? Oh. Do we uh, even do that with your kids? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't. I'm not He's a sure. Congolese man. Yeah. I'm pretty sure no. of the pronouns. Hey? You a, never know. You never yeah, know. Yeah, never they know. Are, they are what they want them to be. It's, but for oh, now, it's a he and a she. Yes, I don't. Uh, the he. The he. Yeah. Okay, he's cool. The so, alrighty, alrighty. Yeah. And then the she is how old? Because I know you told she's me off two. air. She's seven. She's two. No, no. He's seven. He's yeah, seven. he's the one with the. Yeah, yeah. and then she's two. Yeah, by, yeah. But by saying he's the one with us, so I'm a braces gang girl. Yeah. So he also needs braces. Because I'm a man. So I didn't go for We've got a very special champ in the house. Live in the Live studio. in the house. She's the most adorable human being to look at. Oh my god, I wanna your face is so cute. <laughs> Come closer to the mic, they Are can't you hear you. Um, a little bit. Oh you're a little bit nervous. Oh. There's nothing to be nervous about. You look like you belong in the studio. Her name is Botello. Botello in the house. Your lip gloss is popping. Hey, the, the lip gloss it is, is definitely yeah. popping. She is so beautiful. So how old are you, Botello? I'm eight years old. What grade are you in? Two. Oh, grade two. Oh, my God. Oh. Do you do ballet? Yes. I can tell. The posture, tell. right? Look yeah. Look at your posture. Look at your hair. And what school are you from? Summerfields Primary School. Summerfields Sun. Primary School. This is fantastic. This is absolutely great. What is one of your favorite things to do outside of ballet? Yes, eating you can chicken licking. Eating chicken licking. <laughs> eating chicken licking. Yes, you're my kind of girl. Okay, so we're going to play this game real quickly. Have you heard us play it before listening to the radio show? Fantastic. So we've got three adults in the studio, one breakfast champ in the studio, Uncle Sol, Uncle Richard, Auntie Dineo. You've got to ask one tough question to one of us. Who are you going to choose? <laughs> she is so adorable. She is so adorable. Alrighty, so I think you're gonna have to kill the music for this one, Chris. I have a feeling, little ballerina girl over here. Nah, she came prepared. Me. She came prepared. How long have you been rehearsing this question for? Tell me the truth. Hmm. <laughs> How long have you been practicing the question? Yes. Did you get any practice in? Or are you going to ask it for Nine the first time? Minutes? Nine minutes? Nine minutes. Oh, yeah. Girl. Okay, it's a fresh <laughs> one. Yeah, it's fresh yeah, out yeah, the know, oven. Fresh. Hit me with that question. Auntie Dina was all ears. I have no life, but I can die. You have no life, what? but you can die. Mm. What the hell is that your question? That's the question. That's a tough one. I have no, no life. life. But I, I can, can die. die. Mm. I know where Evan Poma boy is. She's like finding she, the answer and getting ready these, to yeah. tell me the answer. Okay, I have no life, but I can die. Mm -hmm. hey. Skin has a lot of life and it, it sometimes is dead when it peels. So that's not that. Um, I have no life, but I can die. Definitely not hair follicles. Those ones are alive. Oh, you are true. Yeah. Um, can't be here. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. I've never been so tripped by an eight-year-old before. I have no life, no but life. I can die. Can I get a clue, please? Ah, uh, uh, we need to charge your phone. Oh! oh. oh. Are you, are you, she gave it phone? to you. Yes. You're not a phone. Am I a battery? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're a battery. Oh my god, you literally gave me the answer. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to scared. you. I'm gonna give it to you. Well done. Because you're about to say phone. Well done, Butsilo. Like, well phone. done, Butsilo. Well done, that's a very clever one. Thank you. Well done. Well done. I like how your personality comes out every now and again. Because you're like, uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. That's actually a very clever one. That's one of the cleverest smart, we've had. Yeah. Very smart one. So I've got a question for you. Are you ready for your question? Okay, Botillo, it's time for us to square up. 
You done embarrassed me in front of all my adult <laughs> friends. I don't embarrass, but see, Your turn. Okay. Who makes all the rules in the country or who breaks all the rules in the country? Cyril Ramaphosa or Jacob Zuma? Makes or breaks? Uh, Which break. one of the oh, two They've both makes? broken some rules. Jacob Zuma. Breaks ah. or makes? <laughs> does, Jacob Jake, Zuma. does he make rules or break rules? Break rules. And who makes oh. rules? <laughs> <laughs> who makes the rules? <laughs> Guys. Oh, he braced him too. I didn't. I didn't say it, but you know what? I'm gonna hand it to her. That's yes. a clever answer. Yes, very, very clever. <laughs> That's a clever answer. I can tell you, even former President Jacob Zuma is laughing at it wherever he is. Yeah. Given the headlines he's made, yeah. he's been painted as the poster child for breaking rules. Mm. And Cyril, the actual number one rule breaker, he is painted the rule, as the time. poster child for making the, <laughs> the rules. Right? Exactly. That's a clever answer. High five. Well done. Very well smart. Done. It is 14 minutes after Thanks. seven o'clock. We're hanging around with a seven-year-old eight eight eight-year-old ballerina Boitello. are you happy i'm I, super i can't hear you i'm super happy i can't hear you i'm super happy i still can't hear I'm super you duper happy. i'm super duper happy <laughs> so sir Yes. On to more about your career. Yes, yes. Right. Um, you, you, you came into the country, right? When? Uh, hold on. Let's start here. When did you come into the country? Uh, in 1993. I think I was four. You were four. Five, five six, six. Oh, you're pretty six. much a Joburg. Did you land in um, SA? No. No, no. Yes, I landed in in SA, but yeah, I lived in Joburg for like a year. Yeah. Then my dad got work on a mine. Then we went to Limpopo. I grew up in Limpopo. How? Oh, oh. Yeah. Come on, please call lightning. <laughs> That's right. Don't play with us. We for real with that. Yes. No, no, no. Yeah. Trust me. I got my spiritual powers yes, traditionally yes, no, no. from Limpopo. So yes. I know. I know. So listen, you speak many languages. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but he's worse than you. Limpopo, Congo, that I'm mixture telling is you, yeah, I'm does. telling you. I'm yes, telling yes. you. I'm telling you. It's right. those movies that we watch that are just hectic. <laughs> Hey, where the flying saucer is turning into a chicken and then That's all right. of a sudden you it's gotta a wife next yourself. to you. Exactly. <laughs> you got to turn it, they don't call him Nungunku for nothing. That's right. You That's right. Gonna right. turn into a chicken. That's boy. right. That's right. I'll come through. Oh, you come through, boy. You come through. So talk to me about the languages that you speak. I mean, you've been in South Africa since uh, 1993. You came in as a four-year-old boy. Afrikaans. Uh, Gesalsia Afrikaans. Um, yeah, ik praat. Jy praat Afrikaans. Wow, yeah, oh, this is interesting. This yeah. is very interesting. What else? Is Zulu? Uh, my Zulu is not good. Uh, my, but, Don't yeah. worry about this Zulu nation and Gabi's that no, I just think. Just okay, tell me something. Yeah, wait. Uh, uh, yo, I don't know. Uh, is Zulu? Yeah, uh, Kibwa Kibwa Stwan. Kibwa Stwan. Yeah, Kibwa Stwan. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah. no Sesotho. But it's like the same thing. But Sesotho, like you have to like. The H, you have to breathe. So, oh, the, yes. yes, so they catch oh, me oh, out there. Yes. Yeah, they happy, can, in, happy Independence Day, Basuto. Yes, 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 happy yes. Independence Day. Yeah. Did you learn these languages because of your acting, or did you just learn them because you've got a knack for languages and mingling with different people? Yeah, no, it was also because I wanted to hear what people would say when they would speak about me, but uh. specifically Tswana, because I went to an Afrikaans primary school, but it was mm. we had like two classes where all the black kids that wanted to speak English would go so we would receive all our, our lessons in those classes yeah. makes sense yeah so makes then sense. but that's where I picked I picked up Afrikaans and English I mean Afrikaans and Tswana in, and English in primary school primary school. Yeah, 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 in Spe the speaking of primary school I mean our little guest here yes. Otello yes. right has um well, I mean, she's in primary school. Yeah. If you were, and she's doing ballet, right? You've been yeah. doing ballet since you were five. Yeah. You are now eight, right? Yes. Um, so she's been doing ballet for the last three years, and yeah. she has probably a career and wishes and dreams ahead of her. Yeah. If you were to give her advice from Richard Lukungu to an eight-year-old mm. about career, what advice would you give her? I think that first of all, you have to work hard. Nothing's gonna come easy. You know, you have to practice every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Are you listening? Mm. Every day. Practice makes uh -huh. perfect. And then you have to ensure that whoever you, whoever's looking after you, your mom or your manager is really business minded so that they can build you as a business. Somebody told me, <clears throat> 
my friend's mom told me this when I was at AFTA actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to be a business but I didn't understand I didn't have the foresight so yeah. you have to be a business you yeah. know like everything on your body or you as an entity you can make money from being you yeah. right so you have to be in control of that you have to own it don't let your agent own it or a brand on it you yeah. must be in those talks when they say we're going to give you 60 percent. don't be like your manager's going to come and tell you that they said this no you must be in the room and hear what they're saying and what they plan to do with your career you yeah. know so yeah but good luck but practice my son also does belly he's the only oh, boy beautiful. in his in his school wow. and then i'm like i push him all the time to do bad to practice every day every Stunning. day you have to be the best yeah. Yeah. yeah what would you like to be Batilla, when you grow up a scientist? A scientist. A, scientist. A, belly, a, a ballet dancing scientist. Yeah. This is really, really cool. What about science do you like? This is the point where you can really lean into the mic <laughs> and tell all these adults that can help change your life. Tell them confidently what your plans for your future are. Mm. About science. Just generally what you like about science. Everything? Okay, that's an answer enough. I'll take that. I'll take the everything. I'll take the everything that comes with the face that says, duh. What do you mean? (laughs) What do you mean? Everything, of course. Yeah. Well, I like that for you. Yeah, Richard, speaking of career choices, bro, did you have strict parents? Because earlier on, you said your dad wouldn't allow you to watch TV, right? And you saw uh, 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 bad boys from your white friends when you had visited. Yeah. And then also, I know that you pretty much lied to them about being in film school and now look at yourself successful actor how do they feel if they're still alive your parents how do they feel now about your career choice yeah no i think they they, they pretty much but I, they're cool i think my mom is happy my, my, my dad was happy when he was alive he, he really like i didn't add where and somebody told him and was like yo man there's some guy that looks like you on this ad like is that you and he's like oh that, that is my son that's my wow. son so then he was happy but coming from a christian household i don't know how you tell your parents that you want to act you know and what it it, it represents I, I was always afraid of telling my dad that so i said i was doing computer motion pictures and then he asked me what was oh. motion pictures and i said it's pictures that you move on a computer mm-hmm. then he was like oh okay cool as long as you can be a boss in there like you can you can <laughs> rise yes. just be the head honcho yes, yes, whatever that's you what, do yes that's so that you make money you yes. know so yeah, yeah. you move yeah. pictures on a computer okay so he thought because i did computer study science in 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 high school so he thought oh it's computer stuff so yes, just yeah. be yeah bless you just be a boss and i was like I'd cool my report came back in second year and it said writing and acting <laughs> that was when like he was what is going, going on, here? on here you said you were doing computer studies but it was too late like yeah. I, I had passed and i had passed with good grades mm. so yeah he just like supported me should have yeah. told me you're going to be an acting boss yeah it was a writing like, what, boss. <laughs> but even what is acting like what are you on tv you playing pretending what is this? to yeah, be other people, people for a living why? Well, you don't like yourself <laughs> hey what's going on now come let's pray let's pray <laughs> <laughs> that's clever you know, so yeah dude you're on blood psalms yes i'm on blood psalms i'm yeah. watching it for you amongst yes, every other one yeah, today is i, I really dropped like. today at midnight it's the episode that i'm on like my yeah. character's introduced today so yeah check it out tell yeah. us more about this character yeah because you seem to me like still waters that run very deep yes i am still ooh, still waters and i run very deep <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, the uh, uh, Abun oh, Rajabari. He's from uh, the kingdom. Abun Rajabari. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. Jamil Hazin. Yeah. Oh, Jamil. Yo, yes. Jamil directing Blood yes. Songs. Yes, Jamil, Jamil wrote and directed Jamil Blood is Songs. Crazy. He wrote ten episodes before the pandemic. He wrote ten episodes. Then we went through the pandemic. When we came back for after the mm-hmm. pandemic, he had rewritten all the ten episodes. So I, I must Whoa. tell you, Jamil, the, the guy that he's talking about is a producer, director. <laughs> award-winning you name it yeah Does with his partner with his partner yes yes he still works with his partner yes yes they got yellow bone entertainment yes. is their company yeah. listen they make incredible Hard-working stuff yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yes so he's the one that wrote the script uh i must say the first time i read the script the first page i put it down yeah because i was like this shit yo sorry this is very deep <laughs> this is very nice i apologize yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
This is really hey, dope. Hey, podcast and chill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The king is getting married and uh, my character, I have to come in and there's northern territories that yeah. they have to cede back to the kingdom of Nziwe, Nziwe Mabwe. And, uh, but I can't seem to find the king when my character arrives because the king is also in his own world is losing his mind. So yeah. you have to watch because it goes can't down. Wait. Like, it really, wait. really goes down. Um, but I really enjoyed playing this character. It's yeah. actually, I was saying earlier, excuse me, I was saying earlier that acting really hurt me but this character was like and i haven't also acted in like two years mm-hmm. and before that i also hadn't acted in like a long time mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. that this character really was like so fun for me yes i had a lot of fun it's gonna need to wrap up <laughs> <laughs> you are the most chilled human being to have a conversation with. <laughs> thank you thank absolutely you. lovely i uh, would love i'm always collecting people to have tequila shots with here yes, right? please yeah but i would collect you well, not so much. I we're gonna... Not so much for tequila, but for yeah. gummies, though. Yes, uh, yeah. I'd collect you for gummies. You know, I don't like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd collect you for a no, gummy. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was on the podcast. <laughs> hey, hey, don't. Hey, hey don't. Hey, do hey, you hey, get hey, us fired? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Listen, his name is Richard Lukunku. Thank you so much for being real with us. Yes, yeah, no um, for sure. Thank you yeah, for just man. being chilled with us and starting your day on nine five nine. You're absolutely good vibes and good energy, and for the amount of work, for the amount of years that you have not worked I do pray that beyond this point the spotlight is shone on you and that you enter your season of being rewarded for the pain that you've poured into your acting career yeah. truly I do thank you Kamago Makosi yeah thank you so much <laughs> Thank you. I it's 7 30 it. on the dot okay so the adults are saying goodbye and we're going to come back a little bit later and say goodbye with our 959 breakfast champ K959 on the street, on the air, 7.40 on a Tuesday. And we are graced by the presence of eight-year-old Botsilo. Botsilo, I'm so sad to say goodbye. How are you feeling? It's time for us to say goodbye. How are you feeling? Also sad. Also sad. You sound sad. Mm, Your face also just changed and went sad. But it's okay. We don't like this. Your mom and I went to high school together. She just reminded me now. I blocked that phase of my life. I was just like, do you remember? From where? Didn't we? I died. Shut up. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm just joking. So your mom is probably going to tinkle, tinkle, Auntie Dini. And maybe you and my daughter can go ballet play date there. What do you think? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes, please. And your wish is my command. Well, mommy and I will make it happen. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. You breakfast champ. You go out there, inspire everyone. For all the eight-year-olds, what do you want them to know that's going to make their day today? Do you have any advice for them? Uh, Not really. Not really. We'll take that one. We can respect that. Have a good day. Goodbye. We love you. I love you too. (laughs) Cheers, my honey. It's so sweet how shy they get. But my back to fill a mo jarating. Oh, sorry, sir. I love them. Absolutely love them. Seven forty-two.